In this example, we model the structure with a roof plane. We first create our front by clicking on the path points in the isometric view. An area facade can be placed anywhere in the room. This makes the sloping roof surface quick and easy to create. All the modification options and details can be used for linear and area facades. With an area facade, you can basically enter any path you want. The only restriction is that the edges cannot intersect each other. As for the linear facade, you can combine the different path options, for example, as here, a straight path and a spline-based path. You can also create circular facades. You click on three points in the isometric view to position the circular facade correctly. In this case, the style of subdivision has been predefined. In the new facade, you also have the option to create subdivisions based on a pattern. Fills are used as the basis for this. In this example, we start by creating a preliminary design using 2D lines. We then offset the fill with automatic geometry determination. The fill should touch with no gaps. We use the change function to activate the existing facade. First, we remove the existing setting so that we do not have several segment subdivisions on top of each other. Then we select the pipette to copy the pattern from the drawing. You're not working with a fixed grid. Instead, you can create any number of segmentation settings and use them both for the area facade or the linear facade. 